Right, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cable with my uh, side cutters, like so, and I'm going to get the earth cable out. The best way to strip the cable is uh, to to uh, grab the cable with your side cutters and then just pull it down the cable and it strips it for you. You've got to understand that this uh, earth cable don't have any sleeving on it, so what you've got to do is make sure that it is sleeved. For this demonstration, I forgot to buy any sleeving, so it isn't going to be sleeved. Cut off the excess uh, out of sheathing. Discard that. Uh, now I'm going to just strip a few mil off just so I can make the termination in the FCU. Like so. Now, like I say, this earth cable should be uh, insulated, but as I said, I forgot to buy some, so it ain't. So, this is going to be incorrect. And with a spur you have the load which is to appliance with an earth live and neutral and then the supply is the live feed from the consumer unit which is with a live neutral and earth. Uh, first one I'm going to put the cable into is going to be the supply. Uh, this cable as you know is a uh, twin and earth. And like I say it should be uh, insulated on the earth cable. When you make this termination, make sure there's no copper outside the terminal, otherwise this could uh, potentially be a fire hazard. And just tighten up the screws in the terminals. So now, that for this demonstration, this is the live feed. And now, with this uh, two and a half flex, now going into the load, which is the appliance. Same principle, just from the appliance, opposed from the uh, mains. Tighten the terminals up, and again, make sure there's no exposed copper outside the terminal. Otherwise, again, this could potentially be a fire hazard. And just give them a little tug just to make sure they ain't gonna come out. Just one last tug just to make sure they are secure in the terminals. Making sure you've got your load and supply the right way around. Obviously your patches should obviously be either surface mounted or it would be uh, um, recessed into the wall. But for this demonstration it's easy just to do it in the end. You've got your live and feed. Then just put your screws in through your face plate into the patches. Just tighten it with your flathead screwdriver. Now you must understand that this should preferably be done um, while it's dead, because doing it live could be extremely dangerous. An FCU would uh, could possibly uh, protect anything from like a fire, like a heater, I mean, or immersion heaters things that need extra protection like from the circuit and the appliance and obviously making sure that you've got the correct size fuse in there as well anything below around 720 watts should be a 3 amp fuse 
anything above 720 watt should be a 13 amp fuse. And this one was from an X heater, so it's got a 13 amp fuse in it. I don't think you can see that, but it's got a 13 amp fuse in it. And that's a lot of interest in the side down there. And then making sure that that's pushed back securely. And there you have it, that's how you wire on FCU. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below. Um, always be careful with electric. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.